everyone! This is going to be a different kind of collection video today. I've shown all of my Barbie play sets and Bratz play sets, you know, the bigger brand names of things that I have, and you can check those out in my tips, um, in my collections and displays playlist if you want to see them. But I haven't shown any of my like off-brand cloned things unless they were part of a larger collection, like we have um, like a Live House and things like that. But we have amassed quite the collection of clone things and off-brand things. So not all of this is like necessarily fakey in that it was meant to like imitate Barbie. It, some of it was just generic and was even made by like affiliated companies that um, were related to like Mattel, Arco. Like Arco. Growing up, like when we were really little, we had mostly clone stuff and like used Barbies uh, because mom and dad just didn't have the money to buy us a lot of real Barbie stuff. So we grew up on a lot of cheap kind of play sets and fashion packs. But honestly, the fakey dolls, they had really cool things um, and the coloring tended to be a bit more realistic sometimes. So, and they had like cool working features. So even when we were acquiring more actual Barbie stuff, we kept buying fakey things. And that's what you're gonna see is many, many years of collecting. And honestly, of all of the furniture kind of playset videos we've done. This was probably my favorite to film because I have so many fond memories with all of these things. Even stuff that like as a kid I owned that I didn't necessarily think of. I had like so many memories with them. I'm gonna have to say I agree. Um, I found it was easier for me to chime in on a lot of the memories we have with this stuff. Um, yeah, and so a lot of it's not in the best condition because it was really played with. A lot of it's not complete and some of, like, some of it was second hand to begin with. But I have done a ton of research on these items to give you the most accurate information as possible and just because I'm curious. Not every single thing is fully identified. You have to keep in mind that like smaller brands, clone companies, uh, things that are made for like the dollar store, a lot of them don't have box dates. A lot of it's kind of generic stuff that was repackaged a bunch of times. So if you want like more information, feel free to check out my miscellaneous dolls um, and toys album on Flickr, anyone can look at it. And if you know something about these items, like a company name or um, a rough manufacturer time that we don't, some of it's second hand, by all means let us know because um, there's some of these items I would love to have more information on. And I do have box photos of a lot of these items, but um, I'm not going to include them in the video because they're not mine, but if you're someone who grew up with one of these or you really want one of these and you want to know like what the box image looks like so you can find it online. Um, you can email me at my email in the description and I, I'll happily like send you an attachment with the picture because I just don't want to put them in the video when they're not my photos. But without further ado, let's get to it. So this is some 1970s, we believe, or tan furniture. I've seen different variations of like pieces to this sold as rattan doll furniture and it's like a generic doll brand, um, generic companies make it. A lot of people think it's authentic Barbie but uh, it's actually not. And we got these sets with our 1978 Barbie Dream House back in like 2003. A lot of the fakey furniture actually you're going to see here was part of that lot. Um, but we use this all the time. You can see it kind of got broken. We used to put it outside our little doll houses because um, it's just so realistic. This is the fashion buggy. This is an authentic Tonka item, obviously. It's from 1981. And this is was marketed actually for dolls. I found it on the, um, someone had like a Tonka collectible website. Now, this was actually a gift from our dad's best friend. He picked up trash and someone had this um, thrown out and Dad and Jimmy uh, both thought this was really cool because it was like considered, you know, like I guess rare in that, you know, Tonka didn't make a lot of things that were girly uh, back in the day and we loved it because it was a Jeep and I drive Jeeps and it has like these really cool daisies and uh, that's what the like, interior looks this, like. This I have a lot of memories with. It makes me think of Shelly's uh, Malibu Barbie named Aubrey because I remember it was her car a lot. Yeah. I always liked the trunk because you could put a lot of stuff in the trunk. This is the um, 1983. Yep, yeah, uh, fashion doll carry-all case here, bedroom case. So there's similar Barbie cases like this where you can like keep the bedroom part folded up and store things in. And this one has like little beds. We played with this all the time. 
because it had like the double beds and I got this with some of my very first like early 80s Barbies. I got this at the Salvation Army in I want to say 2003 and I also got another case alongside it which I don't have anymore. I don't even know what happened to it but this is really sentimental for that reason because I got like my first 1985 Tropical Barbie in here and my first Day to Night Barbie. I feel like we used this um we were playing with uh, Phone Fun Skipper and Fashion Pajamas Ashley as Anne and Riley and this was their bedroom yes. at some point. Um, produced by the company Meridus. We had quite a few things from this company as kids. From 1984. It's dated 84. Um, I don't know how long they use this mold but I haven't been able to find any info on it. I'm not sure if it's a bathroom or a dressing room because it doesn't have a toilet but it does have this like shower and this like vanity setup but it's really cool it has um gotten like really orange with age but we got this as adults in what 2011 the uh fashion doll bedroom playset so this is made by arco and arco is affiliated it's like a sister kind of company with and they did use some of these same molds for barbie play sets it's shelly actually has um one of our other bedrooms like this featured in her 80s barbie old playset collection video because she thought because it was Arco that it was just Barbie that we hadn't ID'd yet. We got our first one with um, the same dream house and we loved it because it has all opening drawers and then when I first got back into collecting I got a second set that was complete furniture wise that wasn't all faded. That was from the guy that thought you looked like Natalie Portman. I don't know why I look nothing like Natalie Portman <laughs> but um, he, gave, he gave me like a box of 80s doll furniture for like five dollars I think and this one here this is actually featured in an opening video on our channel along with this one it's very recent if you watch my videos this was from eBay we got them they weren't sealed but they were still with their packaging and this is what I mean about like the generic style and I'll include pictures of like accessories we have we still haven't used our old ones um, we just brought up one for like yeah. Showing purposes. We played with these things a lot, especially, um, you know, it was cool when we were older and we had both, like, two beds. So, it's so awesome. If we had had them at both as kids, they would have been great. But I used our old little Robin's bedroom all the time. And then this is the Fashion Doll Backyard Pool Set. Now, there are variations of this that just came with the pool or they were just, like, the patio part. So there are variations of this. Um, and this is what the box looks like. We... We're just kind of trying to identify stuff if I'm not mistaken and I found the a seller who had these two and a lot together and when I saw the pool set I was like we have to have this it, yeah, has, it Pepsi, has Pepsi bottles and which calling loves Pepsi and therefore uh, Dracula in our skits loves <laughs> Pepsi. I just loved pools and patios as kids and so when we saw this we were like we have to have it because as kids we would have wanted it and it came with this like really cool cardboard fence and a little like mat. the uh, Beverly Hills uh, living room set from 1985. I also got this and the sink next to it from the same um, group of things with our Barbie dream house back in 2003. I always thought this was a patio set because to me it kind of reminds me of this um, kind of like wicker or something kind of reminded me of like what my grandparents had on their patio yes! and there's also this uh, pink table that's just like it that um, they had other sets with the same mold with it. And then this is a maxi, um, what is it, vanity? What? Um, they also made this their first Cindy dolls. And like I said, I got this in the same lot of furniture with that Barbie house. No barn. And I love how it's shell shaped. And this is made by Meridus. This is the um, Girlfriend's Wonder Vanity. We, I bought this actually when I was about nine or ten, I think, at the uh, local flea market from this woman who used to sell Barbie stuff all the time. And we were into like clone stuff, especially back then. And I um, wanted this because it has like all these opening compartments and it does work. Like if you hit the phone, it'll ring and it makes sounds. If you uh, put something in the plug, it'll actually like turn on a hairdryer sound and the inside cabinets light up and you can also light up the vanity, but I don't have batteries in there. I used it as my Skipper Doll Robins uh, bedroom vanity for a long time, which is why I put some of these stickers on it. Yes, um, we both played with it a lot. It oh, was yeah. my Jasmine Doll's vanity for a while. And this is all that we have left of a childhood gazebo. It's, I found pictures, it's just a fashion doll gazebo with no box date. I'm assuming it was from the early 90s. I literally had this fashion doll gazebo when I was 
really little like this is at least as old as our um, Golden Dream motorhomes and all I have left is the chairs around 2001 ish mom threw away my uh, gazebo which I was actually still playing with around that time it had a hot tub and a grill yes it had a big yellow grill and a uh, the base was pink and it had a hot tub that you could like move the cover off of and it had like a picture of like cartoon bubbles inside it was so cute and then it had this great big yellow roof that was about the same color as the chairs I used to make teacher Barbie and uh, Hollywood hair Ken like date and hang out in that gazebo after Kelly went to bed I think that's why we have an obsession for patio kind of furniture was from this yeah I mean it was definitely this. that's why I like that other yeah set that's so why much. we wanted the krill this is one of the really oldest things in our collection and one of my favorites most of the pieces that came with this uh as you can see it's broken Seen better days i got this for my birthday i want to say my seventh birthday the doors all really open and the sink actually really works and i still actually have most of the pieces this was uh, one of my favorite things because i like to actually put water in it and pump it and i can remember we used to stick this in our fold and fun house that we had growing up and i would take all of my like um it was like so much to do garden set. I would take all the green plates that came with it and pile them up in the sink and make my Pearl Beach Christie a bad housekeeper. <laughs> and then this is the fashion doll Jeep Grand Jeep Cherokee. Cherokee. I want to um, say it's from 94. It's seen better days. Like you can see where we kind of drew on it as kids. I used to draw with like a lot of permanent marker on to decorate and then I would take nail polish remover and remove it and then redesign it. So it kind of took its toll on the stickers. We got this at a yard sale when we were heavily into like kid core dolls and clone dolls and it was only a few dollars and it had all this space in this huge trunk and we loved having large doll families so we could put like Becky's wheelchair up here and a bunch of car seats in the back. We had so much fun with this. This is my favorite uh, vehicle in my collection. Well I was going to say it was my favorite vehicle until we found that really awesome minivan. Yeah, but I mean, sentimentally, this is my favorite vehicle. Yes. Um, I mean, except for probably my Rock Angels car. Also super old. We've had this forever. and I this, got it for the same, again, I want to say it was my seventh birthday that I got this with that uh, sink. And uh, this kind of had the same thing where I used to draw all over it. This was my Bratz car when I was a kid. And um, you can't really tell here, but there's like some fading because I uh, had trouble getting rid of the remnants of Sharpie. And when I did stain removal, this was the first and only time this has ever happened. It actually lifted some of the color, and I think it's because this is such cheap plastic, and I had put so many chemicals on it uh, as a kid that it kind of just had a bad reaction. But we uh, you can see that the peg that's supposed to hold this to this is also broken. Um, I named the horse Black Beauty as a kid, even though she's a brown horse. This is a um, designer living room living room set made by Toy Max. Now I got these two sofas um, from different lots over the years. I don't even remember. I want to say one of them was with our Barbie Dream house. Yeah, I think it was this thing. Um, yes. And I think that's where I got the table. But um, they they had like a lot of different kind of fabric doll furniture back in the day like um, a bit more realistic and like the dolls were comfortable sitting on them so I used to like using these in like boy doll bedrooms they came in color and print variations it took me a while to track them down but you could get like floral or cheetah print things like that and then this is also manufactured by Meritus this is a remote control car this is um, we got this at the, fl the yard sale yes um during our Barbie boycott era where we were playing with fake dolls this was Mary Kay and Ashley's car when I was a kid because <laughs> real like regular Barbies had trouble fitting in this and so again like I wrote all over it but luckily all of the permanent marker came you off. can tell it's higher quality because of that because yeah. of how well the stains lifted um, I vouch for holding on to this all these years because I just I don't and then this little nursery set here um, um, we got it in like the late 90s, early 2000s. I want to say early 2000s. I think I bought it for my Jody dolls. I've seen it packaged as like Gloria, a Gloria nursery, and you can actually still get it on certain websites like Amazon. There was a canopy bed that went to it. Yeah. Um, I think we still have the, uh, the bed spread. Yeah. The canopy just never stayed together, so I think I donated the actual bed because it was just... I think what was left of it might have even got pitched because yeah. it was missing pieces last time, and, I remember. Yeah, and it collapsed all the time. But... My favorite thing was this little um, walker. 
it because it could fit a wide variety of dolls in it. And then this, we actually haven't found the official name of, but this is kind of like a newer version of that made by a different company. This is Polytech Toys, I think. We got it in Big Lot circa 2002-ish. Um, this was our very first living room sets. We didn't have yeah, the sofas. Yeah, you're right. That's why we bought it. And um, we liked the like faux leather and floral prints. So, and they did come with coffee tables and pillows, but I don't we have still the coffee have tables anymore. Yeah, the coffee tables got kind of ruined from a lot of play. That uh, is the Real Friends bathroom um, and spa. Toys R Us had um, like a special line of fakey stuff. But bought this during our fakey craze. And you can see like it has an opening cabinet and um, it has like, it used to light up. It has like a toilet, a broken sink. And then this, which we used recently in a video and even though I thought I dried it out, it peed everywhere. This could actually make bubbles. And we use this all the time. Like this was one of um, our favorite bathrooms to use. Oh my God, we had some like, so when we were originally playing with it, uh, when we were into the fakie dolls, this was Jonathan and Kelsey's spa. And then um, we just continued playing with it like over the years. And I remember at some point this was such a small sink and toilet combo I had in my Skipper Doll's bedroom. Yeah, I mean, and it's so brutalized. Do you see all the battery acid that corroded over the years? That's battery acid. It doesn't work anymore, but we love it anyway. So this is our Real Friends Fashion Doll House. This is one of the things I get so many questions about from people. Um, we use it all the time in like photos and videos. This is honestly, hands down, my favorite house that we ever got. And you know, honestly, it's like not the best quality and it's somewhat gaudy, but we just loved this house to death. It's missing a lot. Like it's supposed to have two blue chairs and obviously like the oven door fell off and the turkey is gone. And it came with a lot of pieces, but they were super cheap. So I think all we have now is like a little stamp book look yeah. kit that I use um used to use for Mary Kate and Ashley coat rack and this bed which flips up into a bookshelf which sometimes you'll see just this in a photo. I used that as first Robin's bed, then just as her bookcase a lot when we were younger. Ironically, we bought this during like the um what we call the Barbie boycott to be like our kid core dolls home so that we were using only quote genuine non-Mattel stuff and ironically we actually ended up using this for years and years and years just because like if I need just a fireplace for a photo this gets pulled up um, back when we were kids we set this up just to use the front door yeah we even um, if like the bedroom was too small so we didn't actually use it yeah because we would fold this back and to cover. make it look like a, like a, almost like a foyer. Um, yeah, the, the front door was like the, the, our favorite thing. Like, it might sound stupid, but we loved <laughs> making them come in through this front door because it actually opens. And uh, the doorbell used to work. This is what it looks like from the outside, and it had all this nice space, especially when it was opened up. So we'd put like a bench and flowers. And then we got this around that same time frame when we were playing with a lot of cologne things. This is uh, the Camp and Go tent um, made by, I think it's Basic Comfort Inc. And it has like these matching sleeping bags. This has appeared before. The thing I remember most about this, other than just how high quality it is, I mean, it even has these little things to fold down. It's better than any Barbie tent, is that we used to take this while my mom was having um, chemotherapy. We'd go with her to like the appointments and in the waiting rooms, we'd kind of bring this folded down with some dolls and then we'd set it up and play with it to keep busy. Uh, it's just really, really cute. It's one of my favorite pieces in our whole collection. This is the Sweet Home Laundry Room. We got this at the Family Dollar. Uh, back when we were kids, they didn't make a lot of laundry rooms and we really wanted like a washing machine. So this one's actually supposed to work. You can put water in it, I think. And um, we do have the pieces that went with it. I like how it's bigger though. Yeah, because you could put like things piled up on top or have clothes coming out of it. The, um, this is made by Kidcore. It's the Girls Club Jody and Morgan again as the bedroom set. It came with two dolls and I got this at KB Toys in 2002, 2003 and I really bought it for the stuff. It's like Kidcore has pretty nice solid stuff and it's just so adorable. Like they always have the cutest patterns and you can see there's like a little TV that comes out. You can pull the TV out. And then this is one of my absolute favorite things that I own for like kid dolls. Um, I got this at Big Lots in mm, 2001 probably. I wanna say my mom was still alive when I got this. 
I used to use this as a school bus or sometimes like if my doll had a lot of kids, this was <laughs> how she transferred. That's it. how I, I re You had like Jasmine and Leroy or Heidi and Leroy, whichever girl doll you were playing with, they had so many kids. Yeah, Meme bought this for me. Oh. And it, yeah, and it came with um, this red haired doll named Jade. And you can see on the inside, you can actually fit a full sized Barbie in the driver's seat and the top opens and the like door over here actually opens. The two last things which I haven't been able to find pictures of but um, this was made by Simba Toys and I remember the set it came with had like three kind of big baby dolls and I have like the potty chairs and stuff that went with it and I got it because I just loved um, how nice it looked and it has like these really cute colors and this little ducky that moves and uh, back then I was really into my Kelly doll so I liked the size of it this. It came stuff. with a lot of really nice bathroom accessories that we still have. This was from the same company as this bus. It came with like a school school playset. It had like a little chalkboard and a bunch of toys. And I still have a lot of the toys that came with it. But the other furniture pieces like the desks were super cheap. But this is a really nice plain cubby thing. And you'll see this make a lot of appearances in different photos and skits. Because it's just so, so basic. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Like I said, if you want any additional information on these play sets feel free to check out my album on Flickr and if you're wondering about like our actual clone dolls those are all featured in our oddball dolls video we don't really have that many dolls because honestly uh, dolls that are really cheap the smell of them makes me feel really sick so we've never kept loads of them the ones we do have are kind of in a combined collection video hope you enjoyed and until next time love your dolls love yourself and love your life